Strategic Air Command Monument. Um, we had a B-36 here, and uh, we totally rebuilt it over at General Dynamics. And after it was rebuilt, we wanted to put it on display. The Air Force says it has to go in a building. Well, the cheapest building we could find was a million dollars. We never raised that money. So the Air Force sent it to Pima Museum in Tucson, Arizona, where it is there now. And it is put together, and it's a beautiful machine. There's only four of them left. When they took the aircraft, they left that bomb. So I started thinking, you know, when Dusty got here, he started bringing airplanes in, putting static displays over. He had that Carswell monument built. And SAC never did that. SAC never did. I don't think they wanted anybody to know this base was here. I don't know. I got, I was assigned to this base July 60 years ago as a rookie fireman. And I'm still here. I know a lot of people would say, why don't you go away? But I'm still here. So anyway, I went to Captain uh, McIntyre. And I said, I have a bomb. I'd like to make a monument to Strategic Air Command. And he said, well, draw it up. So um, West Cloud, and I hear some, oh, there he is back there told me to get a hold of Lieutenant John Hall, who is now a major, and he's still with the Texas Air National Guard. So I did, he drew it up for me. I took it to the captain and he said, okay, Bob, you can do it. I can't give you any troops, I can't give you any money, I can't give you anything. Go build yourself a monument. I said, thanks. So there is no government money or anything in this monument, none. I started a team, Wes Cloud was on the team, Buster Cleveland, and Don Pyatt. And John Hall, uh, I, I think everybody else is deceased. Anyway, we start building this monument. And on October the 17th of 2007, we dedicated that monument 12 years ago. And today, today, we have completed the monument. I started back about nine years ago asking to move that monument, the Carswell Monument and the Round the World Monument up here. Captain Townsend said, okay, Bob, go ahead and do it. So we did it thanks to Dusty. And uh, so as far as I'm concerned, she's done. And I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of what Dusty did on this base with the aircraft that are around here, because he is the one that had him stationed and had actually a few more that they've gotten rid of. But he started the tradition of basically glorifying this base. And I thank him for that. And I hope you all enjoy the monument. You need to really go read it. It has the history of Strategic Air Command. It has the history of this base, which Dusty did a great job on. And the aircraft on that side were all Boeing birds that were here. The aircraft on this side are all the Convair, all the aircraft that were built across the runway and they were the major bombers on this base. So I'm very proud of this base. I didn't know <laughs> 60 years ago I'd be standing here talking to the folks on this base. But I'm glad I'm just walking anywhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can get down.